We're here at the Rusk Museum in front of the Night Watchman, one of uh, Rembrandt's most famous paintings. And you can uh, see here where they've added to it. It was uh, cut down to go through a doorway and they've added a couple feet to uh, the top bottom and one side of it. A beautiful painting. Uh, we're on a tour here with the uh, with the museum, you'll see the uh, earpiece, very Jane Bondish, but uh, that's what it's for. Nothing sinister. It's just part of the tour group. Rembrandt's Night Watch. Here we are at uh, Rembrandt's uh, home, and it's now turned into a museum. We're about to take a look and and view the works of Rembrandt. Follow us on our journey. This is a small office on the first floor of Rembrandt's home where he ran his art business and gallery out of. Not only was he a, an artist, but he ran his own gallery and sold directly to the public. Here we are in the main salon of the Rembrandt house. Second floor, it looks like a printing press. Very exciting. Here's the printing press. Magnificent big wooden wheel. Here we can look into his main living room and bedroom. This was quite a lavish, large and expensive home during this time of history. Large piece of brain coral, many shells, and a collection of other art books by other artists of the time. They were one of his prized possessions. We've got uh, caribou horns and uh, crocodilia. This was on the north side of the house, providing the north light. And here we see an easel set up. And here we see a selection of paintbrushes and his palette as well as some artist reference materials here. The oil paints were all made with pigments being ground on a stone. So there was quite a bit of work involved in uh, creating the uh, paints. We're here in Rembrandt's small studio where he would have uh, four pupils where he would teach them how to draw and paint. I know five, looks like five cubicles here. I hope you enjoyed our unique look into Rembrandt. Please like and subscribe. Be well, be loved. Jeffrey Smith.